electromechanical force that changes how you think about how suspension works. You basically throw away all mechanical parts and turn it into an electromechanical system that you can program. Some of the features that you get with this system is that you have an on-the-fly adjustment. Again, because it's electrical, we can change it to whatever we want it to be. Right here, we're showcasing five different programs for the rider on the fly. On the right, we have all mountain. This is just a regular board, nothing too special. You have regular compression and rebound. You probably use this most of the time when you're riding over rocks and boots. When you need to get on a fire road to get to the next trailhead, you don't want it to be bobbing as much. We program in a cross country mode that has a telling platform. There's a little bit of a fitness action going on at the top, but it's not bobbing so much. You go back into the trailhead, you got the all mountain again, fully open. Sometimes while you're climbing, you have this steep pitch where you feel like you're falling off the back end of the bike and you want to change the geometry of the fork. So then what you do is you go into the top of edge mode, this changes your fork. Right now it's a 130 millimeter fork. We're going to change it into an 80 millimeter fork. You can see that it's not a short fork. We can pop it back up just like that. Travel management is still fully active, but it's a shorter fork. You have a new geometry, you have more stability over the front end. You get to the top of your climb, pop it right back to all mountain. You can keep hitting those rocks and roots. Eventually, as you ride through the way to the mountain, you're going to eventually have to go back downhill, right? So we have a downhill mode. This one has all sorts of adjustments in it. You have low speed compression, high speed compression, rebound, and also a bottom out resistance. This one has a lot of resistance at the bottom so that when you go off this one foot of rock or whatever drop, it's not going to bottom your fork and have that hard climb. So, again, one of the coolest features is that you have all these adjustments right here at the fingertips so you can change them on the fly. Of course, some of us aren't so lucky to be living right next to a trail and we have to ride our bike back on the road. So I have a lockout mode here. Fairly firm. But then when you hit a pothole, it opens right up. That's one of the key features of this fork is that we have electromechanical valve inside that's designed to work so fast that you're never going to feel the transition. The time it takes for your tire to deform and hit a bump is the time it takes for this system to make the change. So before your fork even starts to move, the system has already sensed the impact, made a decision, and changed the system to fully open. So you walk up system, hit a bump, it's fully active, goes right back to walkout. So that's one of the key features of this bike. When we get out of here, you say, hey, where, where are all the adjustments now? How do I make this uh, a slower fork or a faster fork? We have 10,000 different profiles that into it. And you go in and tweak every part of it. So for example, if we want to go to travel management, you say, hey, you know, a 110 fork is not, not good enough for me. I, I have a really steep climb. I, I want a, um, say I want a 70 millimeter fork. Well, right now it's 130. Pop it down, it's now a 70 millimeter fork. Or maybe you want it even less. Maybe it's a 50 millimeter fork. Or for some people, they just need 110. So we can program any type of uh, profile you want into here. If you go into lockout, we can have different types of lockout at the top. Some people like to have a little bit of a bleed, so it can bring that down. So now it actually moves a little bit. Hit a bump, it opens up. Some people want it to open right when you hit the smallest rock. You have to blow off threshold. Some people say, hey, I don't want you to open until you hit something really big. So it's locked out, hit a bump, nothing happens. Really hit a bump is when that opens up. So again, we have any capacity that you can dream of, of a damping profile, we can program that right in. And finally, the best feature here with such a complicated system is that we have a computer on board that makes the whole system very intuitive and easy to use. First time you get on the bike, you can go to the rider preference. You know, set everything up for you. you. Put in some preferences. You put in your weight. It's going to tell you the pressure to run. You pump that up. And now you can measure your sag. It's a dynamic sag indicator. So as you're getting into your ride position, it's going to tell you what it is. You hit enter. It's going to measure your sag for you. Once you're happy with the settings, you hit save, and all the maps have been chosen. Out of the 10,000, we pick all the right rebound settings, the right compression settings. Everything's already set. So now you're ready to go. Go back to your ride mode, and now all you have 
do is ride the bike and pick the settings that you want. Show us how to set the pressure on the fork. The pressure is compared uh, to your weight. What do you mean? How do you set the, the correct air pressure? How do you set the correct air pressure? So the first thing you do is pick your preference. Some people like to ride it soft. Some people like it firmer. Well, let's just pick one for this demo. Then you put in your weight. I'm 130 pounds, so we'll adjust that to 130. And the computer calculates the pressure for you. So in this case, it's telling me I should put in 81 psi. The air spring at the bottom is uh, very similar to all our other systems. The air is solo air. There's a valve at the bottom. You just pump that out with the regular shock pump. Once you have that pumped up to 81, you can now get on the bike to measure your sag. Get in your ride position. Some people have more mass on the upper body. Some people have a longer stem. Some people have a shorter stem. So invariably, it's going to be a little bit different from what we actually advise. So your actual sag in this case, I didn't push it down. It says 11%. Um, someone else gets on it. They might say 47%. You have to play around a little bit to, to get the settings that you like. And again, you hit save, and all the settings are picked. Cool. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you.